Okay, so is progress really being made? A town hall meeting in the Tenderloin tonight. San Francisco's chief of police, the DA, the sheriff, all on hand to answer questions. This comes a week after a mass shooting in that very neighborhood. The latest example of the kind of violence and crime plaguing the Tenderloin area. NBC Bears Gia Vang was there. This was the scene after a mass shooting in the Tenderloin one week ago. One died, four were hurt. And a week later, some of the area's top leaders are in the neighborhood facing questions from people who live and work there. We need to have more support at nighttime. This is a 24-hour job down here, and so it needs to be addressed as a 24-hour job. Because there have only been small changes, according to the St. Anthony Foundation, who hosted this town hall, and another one with the same panel about five months ago. That includes Police Chief Bill Scott, District Attorney Brooke Jenkins, and Sheriff Paul. Miyamoto. The journey to get here requires people to dodge feces, urine, needles, and drug dealers constantly, including our employees. This, as the city recently announced, 2023 has been SF's deadliest year for drug overdoses, mostly due to fentanyl, a drug being pushed right in the tenderloin. At the last meeting, Brooke Jenkins pointed the finger at lenient judges. Tonight, it was no different. We need them to disrupt this market disrupt this behavior by keeping these individuals in custody. Jenkins says they have filed 411 motions to detain drug dealers while their cases are open. Only about 40 have been granted. Until we resolve that at the courthouse and stop that revolving door, the police and I are going to continue to be hamsters on a wheel. There was a will to clean up the city when world leaders were in town for APEC. To that, Chief Bill Scott admits. Uh, we've lost some ground in some areas, that's for sure. But says they had resources because of the magnitude of the gathering. Right now, he says SFPD is shifting when they deploy as no arrests have been made in that mass shooting. The narcotics activity at night, we believe, it played a part in that. And, you know, that's where our, our focus is right now. The officers continuing to work with multiple agencies, including federal prosecutors. Sheriff Paul Miyamoto says it makes a difference. The jail population has increased by 30 percent over the last few months, and inmates are asking for help. Hope for Miss Tina. I'm confident it can be changed, but everybody needs to stick together. Everybody needs to work together. In San Francisco, Gia Vang, NBC Bay Area News.